Greetings folks, this video is going to be all about setting up flaps on a three position switch with elevator compensation as well. Model is the Phoenix 2000, the radio is the FR Sky QX7, uh, but this will work for any OpenTX radio and any model with flaps. The flaps are on a wire lead connected into channel 6. Now to do this nice and simply, the way I like to do it is you have to set up the flaps first so that with the servo in the neutral position, that's with the servo arm at 90 degrees, the flaps are halfway down. Now usually with these models the push rod is too long to be able to do that. So what I always have to do is grab the, the supplied flap push rod and just clip off that little Z bend at the end and form a new Z bend using pliers like that or Z bend pliers like this which are very useful. You lose that Z bend and, and create a new one there and that just shortens it by enough to be able to set up the, the uh, flaps uh, so that they're halfway down. So that's the starting point. Usually you don't want your flaps to go up at all, we only want them to go down as far as they can. Here's my setup, ailerons on channel 1 and 2 throttle on 3, elevator on 4, rudder on 5 and I'm going to plug my flaps into channel 6 and you can see with nothing assigned to them the flaps are sitting halfway down that's what we want so now we need to assign uh, channel 6 to a switch I'm going to use the S, what is it, the SC switch there because we set up the flaps to be halfway down in the neutral position when I choose the up position they go up to level uh, that's halfway down and full down. Now you need to fiddle with the, your push rod length, which hole you have the push rod connected to on the servo and on the control arm to get the range of movement that you want. And you may find that it's straining at each end when it's fully up or fully down. So we can adjust the endpoints. Sorry, let's go to the next page, this, the outputs page for channel 6. We'll edit that. If they're going in the wrong direction you can invert them there. So see mine was actually uh, fully down when the switch is in the up position so I've inverted the channel that reverses the operation. And I also found that it was straining in the full up position. Uh, I'll show you there that would normally be at 100. That's the minimum trim. You can hear them straining there. Uh, so I've just adjusted that minimum end point until it stops straining or until the flaps are back level with the uh, the wing and that's it about there 72.8 seems to do it and the same in the down position that would have normally been 100 and I can actually oh let's put it in the down position see they're straining there so I'm just going to back that off until it stops straining about there so 88 now so there we go we've got level in the up position halfway down in the middle position Full down, still straining a bit, so back it off a bit more. That's basically it. Now, it's a good idea to add some slow movement to this. We'll go back to the mixer page and we'll add some uh, slowness into the application of the flaps. If we scroll down to slow up and slow down, make that about a second, I think. One second is a good idea slow up and slow down just sort of softens the action of the flaps slamming down now let's have a look at them and you can see that they take a second to go up and down and that's just a gentle application of the flaps now what we also want to do is add some elevator compensation because with most, mo most models when you put the flaps down uh, the plane wants to pitch up not all of them, some of them actually stay level, some of them pitch down. You have to uh, fly the plane and put the flaps on and work out what it's doing. Usually the plane wants to pitch up when you put the flaps down. So we'll add a little bit of down elevator to compensate for that. Now we're using the SC switch to uh, apply the flaps. So uh, we'll put a bit of, little bit of SC switch on the elevator as well. Now I've just copied that flaps line up to the elevator. And of course that's going to be way too much and it's going to be up when you don't want it to be. So let's go and edit that line. Uh, you probably only need, you'll have to fly this and try it out, but maybe you know five to ten percent, something like that. Now it's still sitting up, 
by 10%, so we'll put some offset to push it back down there, just by watching what the control surface does while you're dialing in the offset. So now we have the flaps going down nice and slowly and the elevator going down at the same time to stop it from uh, pitching up.